What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 2v2 S&D gameplay on the map Warhawk. And real quick, I was going to be bringing you guys the respawn classes today, however, my Elgato was refusing to work with me, it didn't want to record anything at all today, so I will have to bring those to you either Tuesday or Thursday of this upcoming week here. So they are coming, I know I've been putting them off for a while, but they will be out. Also, about the scuff giveaway, I know some of you have been asking about international shipping as far as, well, if I pay for it, can I still enter? And I'm going to have to answer no, number one, because I didn't mention that option at the beginning, and so it's kind of unfair to incorporate it now for those that have already seen and don't think they can enter. Also, um, part of the reason Levi is willing to just give his scuff away is because he doesn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to get money from people. So we're just, we're not doing that, I'm sorry, this is just for the U.S., um, I can hopefully do some future giveaways when I get some more uh, financial support once I get a full-time job and whatnot, and hopefully then I can do some more giveaways and we can open that up to international then. But um, for now, I'm sorry, it's just for the U.S. So, getting into the main topic for today, I'm going to be talking about my Advanced Warfare wish list for competitive, basically, and what is needed in the game for competitive. I know a lot of people have already done videos very similar to this, but um, this is just my take on it, so enjoy. So first thing is that it needs to be based more on skill. A lot of the previous Call of Duties have been, especially Ghost, is not nearly as skill based. And there's several reasons for that um, as far as the health, the spawn system, uh, latency, hosting, all sorts of things like that. So we need it to be based more on skill, and all things are looking good so far, especially from the quotes from Puckett and other uh, people who have gotten their hands on the game already. So, you know, that exoskeleton stuff and some of the new different things you can do in the game looks like it's really going to help um, improve the need for skill. So that'll be good. That'll make it a lot better for competitive. Next thing is that we are going to need a theater and or broadcasting mode. Um, I like theater so that I can go back and record if my Elgato isn't working, so that would be nice to have in there. And then the broadcasting mode, obviously, so that you know people can um, go in and spectate and do the COD casting and everything like that. So it'll be nice to have a, game, um, a mode like that in there. Next thing is the game modes. So luckily these have already been confirmed. We have S&D... Uh, Hardpoint and CTF, and those are amazing game modes. This game is going to be amazing game mode wise, as long as they don't mess the maps up or anything. But um, yeah, those are definitely better game modes, and the reason is because Blitz. Okay, Blitz is really fun to watch, I'll admit, but I hate playing it. It's a little too fluky, a little bit too much luck for my taste. Um, CTF is definitely a better option, and then anything beats Domination. Domination is so boring to play, and it's Boring to watch unless it's a one-point game, so it's it's going to be nice to see Hardpoint instead. Uh, next thing is the health. So, in Advanced Warfare, I would really, really, really like to see the health be at least double the amount of health we have in Ghost right now. The health is way too low in this game. You can just move your cursor or whatever. I, that's PC, but your reticle across the map and just get a random bullet in there and boom the kid's dead it's ridiculous you need to have better accuracy you have to be able to lock onto your shots longer that's what should determine you getting the kill not oh i came around the corner i don't even see this kid shooting on my screen but i'm dead instantly you know like the health needs to be higher for it to be a better competitive game in my opinion next thing is the spawn system um if you guys don't know there's several different ways spawning can work um and it usually incorporates all the ways into the same thing, it's just they focus more on one. Uh, typically it's focused around, uh, you know, your field of vision, so it's like, okay, I don't want to spawn you here when you have an enemy looking right at you, and then it's also based around where you are positioned on the map, and where your teammates and where the opponents are positioned on the map. And uh, spawn systems in Ghost really aren't that reliable, especially in the public match setting. Things get really crazy sometimes, and the spawns flip in weird ways and everything. Uh, we need a game with spawns like... I, I would say Black Ops 2. I really liked Black Ops 2 spawns because you could predict them, and if you had the map knowledge, you would know exactly where they're going to spawn every time. 
I know that opens it up for spawn trappers, but I'm concerned about competitive. I don't really care about the pub stomping, so sorry if that opens it up for it, but that's how I would like to see the spawns. Next thing is maps. So we need maps. I think a balance of Call of Duty ghost maps and then Black Ops 2 maps because I felt like the ghost maps were either a little bit too big or they had a little bit too much going on or they were a little bit too open in the middle just you know just little things it's not bad I can deal with those maps but then Black Ops 2 I felt was a little bit too straightforward on some of the maps because it was just it was so basic it was the basic three lane system there wasn't a whole lot of different things you can do I feel like you can do a lot more on the ghost maps but I, I think a healthy balance between the two styles of maps would be nice to see in there. Uh, next thing is the classes, and there's several parts to this. So the, as far as weapons go on your classes, I would like to see more diversity with the weapons. I'd like to see more than one assault rifle used or more than one or two subs used, you know, things like that. I would just like to see more weapons out there that are uh, able to be used for competitive. Next thing is the perks. Uh, basically, you know, the normal perks would be good in here. Uh, pretty much whatever, but I would like to see the return of the Stalker perk where you can move faster while aiming down sights. I know that whatever version of that perk is in Ghost, but it's banned for competitive. I love to use an AR with that perk, so I'd love to see that return. Um, and then kill streak wise, I'd like to be able to see some assault streaks used. I would like to see that in this game. I know it's not necessarily going to happen but it would just be nice. Um, we could stick to specialist type things, but I, I liked seeing the assault, you know, the RC car, the Hellstorm missile, things like that in Black Ops 2, so I'd like to see that return. And then I would like to see it automatically come with 10 classes instead of 6, because 6 is too few, and I don't... I mean, it, this is kind of picky. I, I just don't feel like spending the 1 to 2 bucks to get those extra classes I mean I'll do it if I need to for advanced warfare but I'd prefer to not have to pay for that I feel like it should it should just be included at least in the private match setting but um yeah we're running out of time guys so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out